This program is brought to you by Guiding Light Assembly. Amen. I just want us, there are a couple of um, points that just stood out to me so strongly from the sermon as we go into this time to pray for Nigeria. Um, the point Pastor made when he said, God is more interested in changing me than in changing our circumstances. You know, it's important that we pray for Nigeria, but it's also important that we realize that the change that Nigeria needs, it's actually in us changing. It's in us stepping into position. It's in us coming into who God has called us to be. And I was, when I was just preparing yesterday, one thing the Lord showed me was just a story of Adam, really. Then God created Adam. And when the man ate of the fruits, the first thing that when God came looking and Adam and Eve hid, their complaint was not, I ate of the fruit of the tree that you said I shouldn't eat. And so I'm hiding from you. Their complaint was, I'm naked. And I didn't want you to see me this way. And so the problem with the sin was that it brought an awareness to them, their, their sin. And it caused them, instead of running into his presence, to hide from him. And the place of prayer is such an important one because it's a, it, it requires vulnerability. It requires us to get into the presence of God and actually let him see us naked. Let him see us as we are. And that's just my heart's cry that as we step into this place of prayer, if we can just rise to pray. This isn't about the person next to you. It's about getting directly in the presence of God and being naked before him. That God, what you want to change in me, change it. Because until I change, Nigeria does not change. And if I keep on complaining and spend my life staring at the problems, and it's not to deny the problems, but you know, we spend so much time in church acknowledging the reality of the problem that we are denying the truth of what God has said. We spend so much time complaining about everything that's wrong. But we need to make room for what God has said is true. What God has proclaimed over Nigeria. So I just want us to just silence everything around us and just focus on Him. Naked, vulnerable time with the Father. God, change what you would change. Ye dreke mane ya namashe ya manamus dreke mana ya ne ya namashe kete yari have your way 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 in my life king of kings have your way in me do what only you can do. Ye dreke mana ya na mashi dreke yada. Ye mana masi te ya masheki. She dreke mana mana si ya de masheki ya de masakaya. Ye dreke yana. You take the throne. Take the throne in my heart Where I have taken you away from your seat Where I've tried to be my own king Break me down, oh Lord So you can build me up again Build me in your righteousness Build me in your righteousness. I release myself to you. <laughs> to do what only you can do. 
Have your way in my life again Have your way in my life again Change me if you must <laughs> Take me from who I think I am To who you say I am Who you say I am Who you say I am Help me who Help me be who you say I am That's who I need to be If I'm gonna walk this life you've called me to walk If I'm gonna change the things you've called me to change Help me yield my life to you again Yield my life to you again Lead Rekemana Holy Spirit have your way Change me from the inside out Change me from the inside out Change the way I think Change the way I speak Times where I have choked your word in my life With the things that I have said Help me again, O oh Lord, <laughs> to return to your word, O oh Lord. Where we have buried this nation with the things that we have said. Help us to build again with words that are your words. It's what a man says that defiles him. God purify my lips to say what will build and not kill the things that you have seen and in our hearts again. And we can be who you have called us to be. I stand before you, Lord, imperfect as I am. You might perfect me here. Perfect me in your glory, Lord. Perfect us in your glory. Shedrake, honey. Yedrake. Holy Spirit. Cause my appetite. <laughs> To desire what you desire. Undress me if you must. So you can dress me in your holiness. So you can dress me in your righteousness. Remove all impurity. Help me not to be ashamed Not ashamed of your gospel not ashamed of your truth even if I look a fool help me to be like David to dance recklessly because I am dancing for you and 
not for man. It's the only way that we can walk divinely in your presence, Lord, <laughs> is when we set our eyes on you. It's the only way that we can walk when we strap on the gospel shoes and we walk with you wherever we go and we carry you in every step, every step, every step. Help us, Lord, to be who you've called us to be. Change us. 